the Tam and Dwayne Love here, and welcome to another episode of the 2020 NFL Weekly Predictions. Last episode we did Week 11, today we'll be doing Week 12, but let's recap Week 11, where I actually did pretty good in my predictions. I went 10 and 4. So starting off with the AFC, we had the Steelers get a down and win against Jacksonville. The Titans did beat Baltimore in overtime. Um, a game that not that many people have talked about, the Texans... Had a very fun win against New England. Um, Deshaun Watson, Cam Newton went at it. However, I did get this incorrect with the Denver Broncos being the Dolphins. A bit of an upset there in Denver. And then two fun games here with the Chargers and Chiefs winning. Got all three of my AFC versus NFC predictions correct. What a wild game this was for the Colts. Um, and then prayers up to Joe Burrow. Tough loss for the Bengals. And then for the NFC, the Lions got shut out. I cannot get the Lions right with my predictions. And then the um, Cowboys and Rams also won two really fun games. So let's go on to Week 12. First of all, I do want to say Happy Thanksgiving to y'all. I'm super thankful to all who watch my videos. Um, so without further ado, let's get in with the first Thanksgiving game, and that is the Texans and Lions. So I think this will be a really fun game. Deshaun Watson and Matthew Stafford, I think, are both very similar, both underrated quarterbacks carrying their teams. I think this will be a shootout. I just like the Texans a bit more. So I think they beat the Lions. I think this will be a very close, high-scoring game, um, at least towards the middle of it. I, I hope it is because these are two really phenomenal quarterbacks to watch. Um, but I've always been wrong with Detroit with these predictions. I pick them to win, they lose. And when I pick them to lose, they win. So I'm going with Houston. I just think I like them a lot better in this matchup. Um, Giants Bengals. I honestly think that the Bengals will lose out this season. That Joe Burrow injury is unfortunate. Not only that with Cincinnati, but I think New York is better than their record. Their defense at times has been nice. James Bradbury, I think, could take care of either T. Higgins or Tyler Boyd. And the Bengals defense has been a lot um very lackluster this season. I think that's something the that Giants can take advantage of. So Daniel Jones, whoever you have for fantasy, if they're on the New York Giants this week, I will start um, against the Bengals because I think that could be a lot of points for New York. Um, going on to the Raiders and Falcons, Las Vegas and Atlanta. I think this will be a really fun one. Both teams are kind of similar. Two really nice underrated quarterbacks in Derek Carr and Matt Ryan. The only difference is, is that I think that the Raiders can close out games due to the running game. I think Josh Jacobs has been a huge part of the Raiders' success. And Atlanta has not been able to close out games. Some of that has to do with the lack of production of Todd Gurley. I think this will be a really high-scoring one. Both defenses have struggled. I'll be going with the Raiders. I just really like them. They almost beat the Chiefs. They have impressed me a lot lately. I think they're a sleeper Super Bowl contender. If the Falcons win, it wouldn't be the biggest upset this week because, you know, I think it'll be a shootout, but I'm going with the Raiders. Kyler Murray and the Cardinals against Cam Newton and the New, and the New England Patriots, everyone. Um, Kyler Murray, his rookie year, has been compared a lot to Cam Newton. I think it's cool that the two of them are finally facing off here in New England. I'm picking the Cardinals to win. I think they're the better team. The Patriots have struggled. It seems like they just can't get together. One week their defense is good, but then their offense is not. And then when their offense is good, their defense struggles. Um, even though win against the Ravens a couple weeks ago, the Patriots offense wasn't that explosive. I do think this will be close. And the reason I say that is I think Bill Belichick will game plan very well for Cal Murray. But I think the Cardinals will win this game. If I had to do a score maybe 27-17, I think it might be close. And I, it might look like, oh, the Patriots might get a win at home. Cam Newton might pull it off. But ultimately, I think in this one, Cal Murray and the Cardinals defeat the Patriots. Okay, so we then go to Mile High, where we have the Saints and the Broncos. Taysom Hill started for New Orleans, and he did well, and I think this will be a huge win against Denver. I initially, when I was thinking about this, thought it would be a close game, but I don't think so anymore. That Saints defense was ridiculous against the Falcons. Trey Hendrickson is leading the league in sacks. And, you know, that Saints defense against that Denver offense, I don't think will end well. Now, I said that last week, and the Broncos beat the Dolphins. The difference is I trust Sean Payton in this New Orleans offense to get in a rhythm, so I think New Orleans beats the Broncos here by a good amount of points. This will be a fun one. Chiefs, Buccaneers, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, two explosive offenses. Um, 
I'm going with Kansas City here in this one. I could see Tampa Bay winning it at home. I think it'll be a very close game, potentially overtime. You know, Chiefs, Buccaneers, a lot of people have this as a Super Bowl, but Tampa Bay has been very inconsistent. Andy Reid's a smart coach. I think him and Kansas City were playing for the Buccaneers' weaknesses. I think it'll be a close one, but I think Mahomes and the Chiefs, who've had an unbelievable season, will come out on top. So this um, Ravens Steelers game is moved off of Thanksgiving. Um, it's to Sunday due to COVID concerns with Baltimore. I'm going Pittsburgh. A lot of the Steelers players were very frustrated with this, as they showed on social media. And I think the Steelers will win. They're undefeated, and the Ravens looked very sloppy in their Titans loss. So I'm going with the Steelers here. Justin Herbert, Josh Allen. Um, I think this will be a potential shootout. Two strong, stronger quarterbacks. I'm going with the Bills just for the simple fact of that I think um, their defense is uh, better, but I, I think this will be a fun one to watch. A lot of these games I could see going out of the way. Titans-Colts in this AFC South battle, um, I think it will be a Colts win at home. I think it will be close, but I, I think they've looked very good recently. I was really impressed with Phillip Rivers in that offense and how they managed Green Bay with the coaching and the clock control, that Packers win by the Colts was very impressive. The Titans had a good win too, but I think the Colts will win this one. And I think they'll sweep Tennessee this year. Um, then we have the Browns and Jaguars. Mike Lennon starting for Jacksonville. I'm going with Cleveland. I think this will be a very messy game. I think it'll be a very kind of in-between game at first. And I think the Browns win like 20 to 10 or something. Um, the Browns are... Very good at what they do, so I'm going to go with them. They can run the ball well, and for me, that is something that the, the Jaguars are just not a great team. Um, and then I think the Dolphins heel will uh, have, have a have a bounce back game against the Jets. However, the Jets are looking to be actually, they're, they're decent. They held in there with the Chargers, but I think the Dolphins win. Um, next up, we have the other Thanksgiving game, so we only have two this year. Um, with Washington and the Cowboys, a, a classic rivalry there. I do want to say um, a prayers out to the Cowboys. Um, their strength and co conditioning coach Marcus Paul passed away. Um, so I want to send out my prayers and condolences to him and uh, him and his family. Yeah, it is super tough to lose a coach um, in the middle of a season, as anytime it's difficult to lose someone. So my prayers and good thoughts go out to Marcus Paul's family, friends, the whole team. Um, talking about the game, I, I'm going to go with the Cowboys. I just think at home, uh, Andy Dalton looked very good in the Vikings win and the Washington defense, I've not been a big fan of. I think this will be a close one, but I'm going with the Cowboys. Panthers, Vikings here. I'm going to go with my, um, I guess you could say 10 man upset of the week. And that is going to be the Vikings being the Panthers. I know the Panthers shut out the Lions, but for me, I think Dalvin Cook will have a really nice game. I think that the Panthers' defense against Dalvin Cook is a huge test. At home, Kirk Cousins, I think he'll have a nice game, so I have the Vikings winning. Niners-Rams here. I'm going to go with the Rams winning this one. They looked really good Monday night against Tampa Bay. And I know the Rams have had kind of some weird losses this season, but I think they'll have a nice home one at San, or with the Niners. Bears, Packers, I'm going to go with the Packers. Aaron Rodgers, I think, is going to bounce back from a loss. Um, I'm just not really liking anything from the Bears. Their offense is super sluggish, just very dull, very boring. And for me, I think the Packers can counter that great Chicago Bears defense. So I'm going with the Packers. I think they have an upper hand against Chicago's strength. And then, oh, man, <laughs> As an Eagles fan, this is going to be tough to watch, but I think the Seahawks will win by about 20 points against the Eagles. There's so many issues with the Eagles, and the Seahawks are getting hot at just the right moment. So, everyone, that does it here for my predictions. Um, a lot of close ones um, I have. I, I think especially a lot of these AFC versus NFC games I think could be really close, like the Raiders-Falcons one, the Chiefs-Buccaneers, the Thanksgiving one. A lot of these games were kind of a coin flip. So, hope you all have a great Thanksgiving, enjoying football, going on to fantasy. So, I'm 5-6, and six. I did lose last week. Ben Roethlisberger against the Ravens, I like that. Dalvin Cook, James Robinson, um, okay. 
Miles Sanders, the Eagles running back, last week did pretty well against the Browns. So I'll start James Robinson. Tyler Lockett, yes. DeAndre Swift is out. Oh, he was out last week, and that's, I think, a lot of why I, I lost. If, oh, if I started Cooper Cup, I'd probably win. He was fantastic. Okay, I'm going to start Cooper Cup against the Niners. Um, defense, who has just a lot of injuries. Prayers to them. Ryan Suckup, I could see that being a high-scoring game, and we'll start the Dolphins' defense. I still don't know about James Robinson. Antonio Gibson against Dallas, maybe. Um, actually, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start um, these people. Or do I do Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers against the Bears or Ben Roethlisberger? Ooh, each are fish. Uh, each are facing a division foe. I'll go with Big Ben. I need a win here. Expecting a lot from these guys. So I won my last match here in this league, turning it around from win Eagles win. Justin Herbert, I think that'll be a shootout. Nick Chubb, Mike Davis with. I don't know about that one. Um, do we go? Hold on. I want to leave Mike Davis here. And then we have Justin Jefferson, T. Higgins. Okay, I don't want T. Higgins um, starting anymore, unfortunately, due to the Joe Burrow injury. We'll do seeding Lamb on Thanksgiving. Um, and then it says Julio's questionable. Michael Thomas was great. Um, this is tough. I'm going to do that instead. I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to go Michael Thomas. Actually, I'm going to start Julio Jones. So here's my thought process for this. For me, I, 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 CeeDee Lamb's been great, and I think on Thanksgiving it's going to be a big game. Justin Jefferson against a weaker Panthers secondary. I like that, especially with Adam Thielen being out for COVID. Um, prayers to him, but that gives Jefferson time to open things up. And then I think... Julio, against that Raiders defense, has been struggling. I think the Falcons will take advantage of that. I wasn't going to start Michael Thomas, but I just, you know, Taysom Hill did look good, but I just trust Matt Ryan a bit more. And the Packers defense, we will start. Um, I'm actually going to start, I will start Justin Tucker. Anyways, all that will do it for this episode. Thank you all so much. Um, you know, it's Thanksgiving, but I'm just always thankful for the love and support you guys show my videos, the streams. It means a ton. I hope you all have a fabulous Thanksgiving day. So bring it with your family. Hope you enjoy these predict predictions. Should be a fun week. I'll see you all next week. Take care and have a good one.